All right, it's got to be said, there's a danger lurking in kitchens everywhere, and it's sending more and more people to the hospital. We're talking about the avocado. People are slicing right through the fruit and into their hands. It happened to one of our Team 12 members. It's horrible. It actually happened to the Bachelorette con contestant and View co-host Joy Bear. Can you believe this? Um, it's called avocado hand, and it's a real <laughs> problem. But to solve this growing problem, we brought in blogger and chef Suzanne Clark. Okay. Let's start with a simple question. Why is it so hard to cut? Well, you know, we have different textures. We have the hard skin and then we have the creamy, you know, uh, the fruit part that has a lot of oil in it. So people slip and that's the problem. So I'm going to show you how to cut in a safe way today. Okay, please okay, do. Okay, and you're not using a small butter knife or anything like this. Is you a... want a sharp knife. Okay. I mean, if you, if you, I just like using this knife. It feels sure. comfortable to me. Use what's comfortable to you. But the idea is we want to put it on a cutting board that okay. is, not, is going to be secure. If it's not secure, put a towel underneath it. That's wet. And then we're just going to start. And again, like I said, this is a sharp knife. So I'm going to roll it like this. Then I'm going to roll my avocado here. Now, most people stop there, and that's where you're doing it wrong. Okay. Now I need to turn it over, and I'm going to put this into quarters, okay? So I'm going to roll it that way. Do the same thing, okay? Now what's going to happen when I open it, I'm going to twist to open. I'm going to have the sections, but watch what happens to the pit. Pop now right pop out. it right out. It, right, because most people do, they go like this, yeah, and they, that's they hack what it. happens. The other thing people do is they take their knife and they go to scoop out the avocado. Oh. That is not a good idea either. You want to take a metal spoon and you want to just slice it right out. And look how nice that comes out. Yeah, because I know a lot of people worry about wasting some of it, so they want to make sure they get it on. But they you know what? We outside. have a curved spoon. I can go back. If I was making guacamole, I'd just keep on scraping okay. this out. But see, now I have these nice slices, so now I can just take my knife. I could honestly now cut it with a butter knife if sure. I wanted to. So, you know, once you get that, you want to do it. You also don't want to put the avocado in your hand oh and take the knife to score it because a lot of people do that. That's another big no-no. Yeah. Just remember, take the extra time to get a metal spoon and scoop it right out. And we know a lot of people are getting the avocados. This is the time to make that guacamole, but you're showing us a little bit something different today. It smells amazing. Well, I wanted to show something healthy. You know, uh, avocados are healthy, and this is a great option for many people to make as a side dish. You can make this ahead and bring it to work. Oh. Okay, so it's a good idea. So let's go ahead and, and in this bowl I have um, two cups of roasted cooked corn. Okay. I have black beans that have been rinsed and drained and jicama. I love jicama because you get that nice little crunch. So next I'm going to go ahead, and, well let's go ahead and add the, the cilantro. I have fresh cilantro here. I have a half a cup of red onion. This is easy. You know, this is really a stir and dump kind of a deal. Yeah. Not too hard to make. Probably a lot of the ingredients you have around your house. Now, next I'm going to add my tomatoes. Okay, and you said you use canned tomatoes for this. Why yeah, is that? Yeah, there's a reason. Because um, th these tomatoes right here have the chilies already in them okay. and it almost marinates them. And this brand, uh, this brand right here is a really great brand. It has all the extra flavors in it, nice and fresh. I'm going to put the lime juice directly on my avocado to help from browning. I'm just going to put that in and then and I'm going to make my dressing. The dressing is just some of the reserved tomato juice I have from the can. I have some avocado oil, lime juice. I have two to three cloves of garlic. That's up to you how much you like. And some salt. Once I have this on all mixed up, I'm going to pour it over my salad. And this is what we have right here. Beautiful. Well, we love it. Make sure when you're slicing the avocados for this particular salad, you're careful with the pit. Cut it in quarters like, like she said. And uh, watch those hands. No one wants a chunk problem. of your fingers in the avocado. No, all right. That's thank not you very good. much, Suzanne. <laughs> Coming up on